Thursday Bible study. Let's continue on in Daniel. Uh, wow. Yeah, this is getting into the nitty gritty here, isn't it? I'm going to read it. In the, let's read this in the New Living first, and then we'll read it in the King James. Because this... Well, we'll get to it. After this period of 62 sets of seven, the anointed one will be killed, appearing to have accomplished nothing. And a ruler will arise whose armies will destroy the city and the temple. The end will come with a flood. This is always such a mystery to me because I'm now thinking back to, uh, I don't know. The end will come with a flood. A flood, book of Revelation. Revelation 20, oops. Revelation 12, 15, King James Version, Bible Gateway. And a serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, which is the bride of Christ, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. I'm not sure if they're connected or not. The end, but these are both end times prophecy books, Daniel and Revelation. And there's flood mentioned in both those places. The end will come with a flood and war. And its miseries are decreed from that time to the very end. I'm not sure how a flood would come. And the war, of course, World War Three. Well, I wasn't expecting to get all into this today, was I? And talk about might fly into the wilderness. Hmm. Whoops. We got new living here, didn't we? Sorry. Abomination of desolation. You folks in Judea flee to the mountains, mountains, wilderness. The wilderness meant desert back in those days. 
Remember, they were wandering around in the wilderness, wandering, it was a desert. Okay, so. The ruler will make a treaty with people for a period of one set of seven. But after half of this time, he will put an end to the sacrifices and the offerings. And as a climax to all of his terrible deeds, he will set up a sacrilegious object that causes desecration until the fate decreed for this defiler is finally poured out on him. Daniel's vision of a messenger. In the third year, the king, uh, the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, Daniel, also known as Belteshazzar, had another vision. And he understood that the vision concerned events certain to happen in the future, times of war and great hardship. War, famine, death of Revelation 6. When this vision came to me, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three whole weeks. All that time, I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine crossed my lips, and I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. After three, three score and two weeks, shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself and the people of the prince that shall come. That shall, that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. And he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of that week, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. I just wanted to read that part in the King James. This Messiah is the Antichrist, the false Messiah. And I wonder, this anointed one will be killed, this is talking about Trump, appearing to have accomplished nothing. Hang on just a second. All right. I'm good with that. Um, no, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him. And lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. For of necessity, he must release one of them at the feast. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man and release unto us Barabbas, who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast into prison. Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them, but they cried again, excuse me, but they cried, saying, crucify him, crucify him. Am I in the King James? Yeah. And he said unto them the third time, why? What evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priest prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. And he released unto them him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired, but he delivered Jesus to their will. And as they led him away, 
they laid hold upon one Simon, a Syrian, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. All right, love y'all very much.